Hey, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In this video, we just are going to complete one of this kind of like a side quest before we have to start the main uh, plot. In this video, we will be fixing one of the robots that we saw in Lanaru Province that has somehow managed its way up here in Skyloft. And then we will be... Well, that's pretty much it. I don't want to give too much away at the moment, but the first thing we need to do is go talk to the headmaster, and he's going to point us in the right direction. So let's talk to this big buffoon. Cabra, cabra. He's cute. He's sexy, and he knows it. Sing it! Sing it! Ah, he won't. He won't sing it. Even if you click that, I tried it. Alright, so he's just giving us a uh, clue to what we need to do in the form of a song. Uh, it's really not all that helpful if you just take it for what he says, but you, if you uh, seem to recall, there's a couple areas in Skyloft that this can relate to, and we're just going to go find out what exactly he was talking about from that song. Who would have known that the song Zelda was singing the entire time? Would come in handy one of these days. I guess women can be helpful. So, bye, Pippet. Let's head out on outside. And. Come on. Alright, now. We will be doing quite a bit in this fairly short episode, but. What we're going to do is something that will impact the rest of the game, and we'll be using a part of this for several different areas in the game as well, unfortunately, because it's one of my least favorite parts of the game that stem from something that we do in this video, and I'm trying to keep it really vague, because I don't want to spoil it too far in advance, but what I'm going to do is head over to... Uh, One of these uh, towers, these spinning towers, windmills per se. That's the spinning thing he was talking about. I'm going to just go ahead and give that away. So I need to work my way over to that one. Um, pretty much there's three of these windmills. You need to make them point in certain directions to open up a path. So this is the first one we need to address, but it is missing the part needed to rotate it, so this guy is going to notice that we're checking it out. Alright, so we need the propeller. I'm surprised that he isn't like, what was that? I just saw this crazy woman pop out of your sword. He's just like nonchalant. And I'm gonna keep on talking because I look like Elvis. But anyways, the propeller fell down there. And we of course are able to go get it, but the flying robot, they're gonna make this hard on us. I mean, the propeller is not big. A, not so large that we can't carry it ourselves and we have much larger items that we've carried but it's going to make us fix a robot to carry the propeller for us instead of just making things easy and letting us carry it ourselves I mean our sword is bigger than this propeller but oh well so he tells us to check out this guy in the bazaar it's the guy who upgrades uh, our weaponry um, items Shields, etc. Not this guy. 
He's cute. He's got a really round face. He looks like a little piggy. Alright, this guy over here. Well, how do you know? You can see the robot right behind him, behind his right arm, just sitting there. It looks like a clump of rubble, just like they do down in the Lowry province before you go back in time. He's pretty much broken. He nicknamed the guy Scrapper. So what we need to do is find a way to fix him. And it takes an ancient flower. Thankfully, I already have one because I got one uh, a long time ago when I first visited the Lenaru province. So that's where they're generally found. If you don't have one, just go back. I w would suggest taking a look in the mines, not the mining facility, but in the mines before you get out into the desert. And that's where I found most of mine at. Alright, so apparently that's all it takes to fix this guy. The flower and his oil. But we got this guy running around, he's all crazy like. And he's a dick. I mean, he is a giant dick. <laughs> yeah, he does not like Link for some reason, I'm not quite sure why. And you just find his Link to be too small, and therefore has no respect for the guy. But that's his, uh... That's his opinion. Nobody else seems to have that problem with Link. But on the other hand, he does seem to like Fi. And she lets his uh, dowels for the propeller. It's pretty easy to find. For some reason, he takes an interest in Fi. I don't know why. Um, it's not very, very clearly explained, but he will do whatever Fi says. Even though he hates you, but as long as Fi is with you, he'll listen. So, alright. So he's pretty much gonna wait here, thankfully. Master Short Pants. It's cute. And we'll just go track it down, and Fi will be able to call for him telepathically. So, that'll make things easy for us. Now, uh, he says to ask the fortune teller for help. So, let's go ahead and uh, do that, see what he slash she, it's a he but it looks like a she in a way, with a mustache, but he's just going to tell us that the propeller is located after he talks really weird like, room gets dark, any day now, coming soon. Coming soon, way too dragged out. This is not even funny, I don't know why Nintendo has to do this. Just tell us. Propeller, elements, mountain fire. Alright, Elden Province. So we just need to go to the Elden Province, and it's actually pretty close to the a dungeon there. So that's the end of this video. Next video, we're gonna go get that propeller.